Hey guys. Um, I was challenged by Welsh Dragon Hunter to do the alphabet challenge. And I mistakenly said in my snack crate that it was his birthday. It's not. It's his one year anniversary on YouTube. So kind of a birthday, a YouTube birthday, if you will. And I'm still eating for my snack crate. So alphabet challenge. We had to find one pop that begins with every single letter in the alphabet. So I did. That's why this looks like a crazy mess. All right. Let's get this going. All right. This one. Yes, I know it's two names and you probably should go by the last name. I don't care. Alex Trebek Chase. This is the first chase I ever found in the wild was with my mom. And obviously we lost Alex uh, last year. And um, so this one has even more meaning now. But Alex Trebek was um, a super cool guy. Uh, he made Jeopardy so worthwhile watching it. And I'm going to try and move this so I can stack things up. Uh, <clears throat> but he's awesome. Um, I don't even know what the value of this is. I don't really care. This is something I will always retain in my collection because it's the first chase I found in the wild. So there's that. Mm. And I know most people are saying right there is Bunny Suit Ralphie, and he's got tremendous value. He does. But I've got a different B, and I have the Flock Bullseye here. And this came to me from John and Allie, Stop and Funko with JLH. They did an amazing thing in March, um, the 17 days of Pops, Pets, and Prizes. And um, I didn't end up winning anything, but I did participate. And they have they have a new one coming up in July. It's going to be the four days of the fourth or something like that. And there's always fun things that go along with it. If you guys haven't checked out their channel, please do. It's amazing. It's all about, um, you know, the Funkos and collecting. He does all kinds of, of stuff, crazy stuff, too. He plays video games. Um, they do box openings. And you can see their Hastings pack, all eight of them. I have their sticker on my mic arm here of all the puppies. Um, but they sent this to me as an A-OK -okay, um, after that because I, I didn't end up winning. Um, this was – oh, no, this was part of the battle, wasn't it? Yeah, this is part of their battle. They battled um, Funkos. That's what this one was. It wasn't that. It wasn't the 17. No, it was 17 days. I don't know. Uh, anyway, they had like a whole ranking. It was like a, a like a bracket tournament. And this was one of them. This was the 13th seed of the battle. And so this one means a lot to me. Not only because uh, they sent it to me. I also love this pop. I think it's adorable. Um, I love that, that um, Andy's name is written on the on the little hoofs of this one. So he's super cute. So I chose him for B. C, again, I know, probably should go by last name, but I'm not. I chose Cara Dune. And yes, I know I don't have this in a protector. Why? Because it's been stacked for a while, and it, this used to only be worth six bucks. But because the actress that plays Cara Dune uh, got into a political war and got fired, uh, this shot up, and this one is at like 80 bucks in value now which is insane. I picked this up at Walmart. I found the original OG set <coughs> sitting on a shelf at Walmart altogether. So I picked her up and now she's worth 80 bucks. So um, I have most of the Mandalorian line. I'm missing a couple. I don't even know which I'm, what I'm missing anymore, but those are all here. That's why the child's all pushed out, all my child pops. All right, so that was C. D. <coughs> So what I did was I grabbed, it's the same character, and um, but I just got it so you can do a side, side to side comparison. So I did D uh, for Data from Goonies. This is the OG version from 2013. He's one of the three OG versions that I have. I have this one, I have Mouth, and I have another one that you will see in a little bit. And then I got the new one, so you guys can see them side by side. So big differences here from the OG version. Obviously, he's got eyebrows. Um, the jacket and everything is a little bit different. Um, I actually like the new one as far as the uh, like so much more. I think the colors are more dead on um, than the old one. This one has the pinchers of power coming out of his his sleeve, and this one has the um, the punching belt. So I thought these were cool, and I thought just for to do a side-by-side -side comparison of the two would be kind of cool to put those up there. So that's my D. E, I picked one of my favorite TV shows 
Uh, back in the day, it was. I thought at the time it was groundbreaking. I also thought it was very funny, and my dad and I had a whole thing going with the whole not the mama thing. Um, so I picked Earl Sinclair from Dinosaurs as my E. I had other E's um, that are even more in value, but this is something special. I mean, this is something that my dad and I still say to each other. Nah, 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 nah. Uh, so I picked that kind of in honor of my dad. I do have the whole set of those, including baby Sinclair holding the frying pan. Um, so this was a, uh, this is a great show and you can still watch it too, which is, which is awesome. F is one of my favorite movies. And I know I've showed this off before, um, but I picked Flash Gordon. Again, this is another one that has some value. I got this not too long after I got into the pops. I saw that they had a Flash Gordon line. This is one of those movies that I can watch anytime. If it's on, I w it doesn't matter where it's at in the movie, I'll watch it. Um, so I picked Flash Gordon. Love this pop. He's got the egg from the, the basically him playing football scene on it. T-shirt. Again, this is OG. This is from 2016. Uh, but I have the whole set of four of these. I kind of wish they would have done Dale Arden and um, a couple other characters, but oh well, what, what can you do? So that's my F. <coughs> G. Again, I have a lot of Gs. Um, I picked this one because I've been after it for a while. Um, and this is the only one I have out of this line. I wish I could get the other five of them, but I picked Gracie Law from Big Trouble. Um Big Trouble in Little China. This movie is another one that I watched with my dad a lot. Uh, when we were kids, when my mom would go out of town, my dad would let us watch movies that we probably shouldn't be able to watch. But <clears throat> Kim Cattrall also became, you know, important later on with Sex in the City. Uh, this pop, for as old as this is, this is a 14 pop. <clears throat> it's super detailed with her headdress and everything. This is towards the end. The girl with the green eyes. Now, um, I kind of wish they would have done something with the green on the eyes because that was the whole reason that she got picked her, the two girls, because they had green eyes and they didn't do anything with the green eye part on this. That's the only thing I, I don't like about that one. So there's that one <clears throat> for H um, shout out to Fox crown. Um, he okayed me a box from uh, Cletus Selden. It was a Marvel box and inside was this. So this is a Hulk, an OG Hulk. This one is from 14. And it is signed by Lou Ferrigno, um, who played the Hulk in the TV show back when I was a kid. Uh, so not only is this a, a crazy pop um, to have, just, I mean, it's, it's like 50 bucks in value, something like that, 45, 50 bucks. Um, but the signature on it makes it so much more special. And, and I know who Lou, Lou Ferrigno is. And then as part of the um, ambiance of this one, he actually put the sticker or the ticket in there from when he went to the con and got it signed. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Shouts out to Cletus. Haven't heard from you in a while, my man. All right. The next one is, um, I picked it because it's an iconic character. Now it came to me damaged, uh, but this is another OG looking. This is one of the original uh, Iron Man pops, but it was redone in 2020, re-released. Um, so it was taken out of vault and re-released, but this is still an OG looking pop as compared to um, the Iron Mans that they have now. Uh, I, I kind of wish that Funko would stay more to their true roots. I know that they're trying to be more and more and more um, detailed on things. And some of them are really cool to have detailed, but I, I picked this one because it still looks the OG, even though they re-released it in 2020. So it's not the original valued one. Um, that's okay. <clears throat> Jay. All right. So uh, I was lucky enough to get this one on the drop. Um, I'm a huge Transformers fan. I'm almost a completionist on that line as well. So for Jay, I picked Jetfire. This was a drop that happened. Um, I can't remember if this was during a con or not. I'm not really sure. This one's like pretty high up in value too, like 60, 70 bucks maybe, I think, something like that. Um, this one's super heavy. His, the head on this dude is, is super heavy. Um, but the detail on these new Transformers is amazing. I do like these. Like, I don't mind these with the, with the extra detail on them. Um, I do have all of the OG or the original ret retro lines that came out, except for Megatron. I got to find um, the original Megatron number twenty four. That's the one I have to find. But um, I have those, and then I need to get a Soundwave um, that is the GameStop edition. But I picked that. Okay, um, I have a couple. I grabbed this because I love Masters of the Universe, um, so I picked this one. This is Cobra Khan. I don't think he's worth anything. I have 
the soda as well. I do have the soda um, of him. I did not get the chase, but that's okay. Uh, so I just thought this was super cool. Masters of the Universe came out as part of the retro toy line. The retro toy line is like right in line with when I was a kid. Um, so I really love that line. And he was an easy one to do. All right, L. Flash a little bit of fire here. Uh, I got this out of a Mama J mystery box. And this is the Loch Ness Monster. No, it's not the Glow version. Um, this is the normal version, the Funko Shop limited edition of the Loch Ness Monster. I think he's... <laughs> What, somewhere like between 60 and 80 bucks, maybe? I think. Uh, I just like him because he's super cute. He's adorable. This this character with these myths line, super adorable. Love him. Love the coloring of him. And he's usually up there where all of my grails are. Uh, maybe not stack that there. <clears throat> Put that there. And yes, you guys have seen this a million times, but um, this means a lot to me because it came from my parents. Um, this is my first like real super grail that I got. So this is the con sticker Mandalorian, uh, for my M. My parents got this for me because I helped them out during, uh, lockdown and COVID and I was going out and getting groceries and things like that. So they didn't have to expose themselves to, uh, the virus. And so they got me this as a thank you. Uh, so this means the world to me. Um, I, I know I don't have the D23. I'm not going to be crazy and say, I think I'm ever going to have that one. Um, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Switch it back to the Transformer line. All right, so this is Nemesis Prime. As, as you can see, it's got the red and green sticker. I got also got this on the drop, so I got this at, um, you know, retail, 12 15 bucks, something like that, I think. Um, so this is Nemesis Prime. It is like the evil version of Optimus Prime. He's got some value to him, too. Um, but again, a very cool pop. Like I said, I love the Transformer line. So I got him for N, for O. <clears throat> the reason I do this is because I will always keep this. It is the shared sticker on him. Uh, but this will. This is for Lisa. I, I've had this for since I almost since I started collecting. I got this is in a waffle. So I picked Officer Freddy. It is Freddy Funko, who you guys know is the the Funko. Um, what do you want to call it? Mascot. Yes, he's a mascot. Um, and they've done some cool things with him. So it's the shared sticker, Officer Freddy. Uh, but I don't care that it's the shared sticker. This is strictly because Lisa used to be uh, a police officer. Lisa put her actual life on the line. Um, she's got commendations for saving a child uh, from a man who was holding a shotgun. Uh, actually walked up the stairs with the shotgun pointing at her and saved a child. Um, so... Um, very super proud of Lisa. She's uh, an amazing person. She went through 26 years or something like that of police work actually on the road, uh, putting your life in danger. So thank you, Lisa, for your service. And this will always stay in my collection as a reminder of you. <clears throat> All right, Pete. Going back to Flash Gordon. Why? Because this is my favorite character in the movie. This is Prince Voltaire. So this character was was really funny. Uh, there's an epic scene where there's a, a battle between uh, Timothy Dalton, uh, Prince Baron, and Flash Gordon on this uh, tilt-a-whirl type of uh, platform. Um, Prince Fulton ends up helping Flash Gordon and with his Hawkmen, and his character was just funny. I, I think this actual actor just passed away probably within the last year and a half. I think he did. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but he's, he's my favorite character out of that movie. And also happen to be a P. And yes, I have other P Funko Pops, but I chose him. Q is a little bit tougher. Now, I have Qui-Gon. I have one somewhere back here. That is the Amazon one that came out. Came out. I don't have the expensive Qui-Gons. Um, but I picked another Mandalorian one, which is Q90. Um, this character didn't have a whole lot um, to do with the, with the whole first season. Uh, he got the crap kicked out of him pretty quickly. Uh, he does make a comeback in the second season, spoiler alert, but um, this pop is super cool. They did a really good job on the detail of him, so that is awesome. Q90. Okay, R. Now, R, again, I could have done R for Ralphie. Um, I have quite a few, and I know M's, people are like, well, I can't believe I didn't pull a Marty. No, because of why that one meant so much more. Um, I picked this up off of a waffle. He does have some damage, but I don't care. This is a uh, 2014 Rocksteady from the Ninja Turtles. I love Ninja Turtles. Uh, he is my only OG 
Ninja Turtle pop that I have. I do have a graded Michelangelo up there. Uh, Michelangelo is my favorite turtle. And uh, so I do have that. But this is Rocksteady from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2014 pop. I do hope maybe I'll pick up some more of those along the way at some point in time. They're not super out of, you know, out of control. All right. I had to put this guy in here. I know you guys have seen him before, but, uh, yeah, you can hear it. Uh, this is an armor. This is my most valuable pop in my collection. This is the San Diego Comic-Con limited edition. He is limited to 2,500 pieces. This is the Superman sloth from the Goonies. Um, I also got this in a waffle and he's epic. Um, I've seen the new ones. I still, I, I mean, I love this. I thought they did, oops, sorry. So they did great on this mold. Um, he is, he's an awesome little character. So, uh, I love him it's like 700 and something dollars in value. This is like one of my, that's my most valuable pop. Uh, T. Okay. I don't remember where I got this from. I'm not really sure, um, but as a kid growing up and with a mom that didn't really like us having sugar, sugary cereals, one of them that she would let us have is Frosted Flakes. So I do have most of the Tonys. I actually had one of the more valuable Tonys at one point, um, but I, I've kept this one because he's got the glasses on, and I have the, the retro Tony as well uh, that just came out. But I picked Tony the Tiger. He is an iconic, iconic ad icon. Um they're great. Uh, most people know that line. Whether you are 50 years old or you are 20 years old, you know who Tony the Tiger is. And so he is, um, he's just kind of passes the, the test of time. And they've made him cooler lately. <coughs> he does a lot more in the actual um, ads and everything else. Uh, you. I have a couple of yous, honestly, but I picked one because this, this is another show that meant the world to me when I was a kid. Um, before HBO went where you had, it was a subscription service. They had HBO on regular television for a while and we got introduced to Fraggle Rock. So I picked Uncle Traveling Matt. Uh, this is one of the, the more valuable of the, the set. This set came out in 17. I do have this whole set of these. Plus I have the, the flocked five pack of the Fraggle Rock, um, as well. He's not in the flocked ones. You can only get him with this, and I only have seen him with a specialty series sticker. There may be other ones you guys can probably tell me. Not really sure, but <clears throat> I got him for you. T U V. Okay. <clears throat> Pick this one. Um, it's a venomized. I have several venomized. I don't, I'm not a completionist on those at all, but um, I do have several of them. Um, this is, I picked this because of Chadwick Boseman. Uh, I am glad that MTV at least gave him um, some some proper send off by um, him winning the award for his acting ability. Uh, this is the Venomized Black Panther. I don't care what it's worth. Um, I will keep this just because I think he is such a good example of somebody who fought until the very bitter end of um, his life, and he is gone way too soon. Uh, was an excellent actor, not even just as Black Panther, but that, that movie itself meant a lot to a lot of people. It showed um, strength and power, um, and I thought he did a great job. He also deserved the, the Oscar. I think it was crappy what happened with the Oscars, my little soapbox edition, but I thought what he did in the, the last movie, I can't think of it off the top of my head right now, um, <clears throat> but his acting in that also was deserving of an Oscar. Um, so Chadwick, Chadwick Boseman, gone too soon. Amazing characters that you played, my dude. So I had to throw this one in there for you. W. Okay. There was no getting around this. It was just picking which one. And I have a bunch right up there. Uh, this one I got from Mama J. Um, I don't know if it was a giveaway or a waffle or what, but uh, I picked the Hollywood exclusive Wonder Woman with the shopping, the Funko shopping bag that she's got going on there. Um, as you guys know, Wonder Woman, me, Caitlin, Mama J are like huge Wonder Woman fans. Uh, so I picked this one for Mama J and for Caitlin, <clears throat> for women everywhere. I think this character, what they did with, with Gal Gadot in the movies is amazing. Um, they kind of showed that ladies can kick butt. Linda Carter, obviously she started off in the, in the character role. I don't have too many OG ones. I have mostly the newer ones up here. I have one OG one somewhere. 
White Lantern one, maybe right there. <clears throat> so I picked uh, Wonder Woman for W. Um, X. <clears throat> okay, Welsh, I had to go out and buy this, but thank you for telling me what I could look for. Um, I ended up picking this up um, at, at my pops because um, I needed an X. So uh, I picked up Xenomorph. It is the 40th anniversary of the Alien movie, Xenomorph. Uh, I don't think I'll probably keep this. I got it just so that I could do this challenge. Uh, I don't think it's worth a whole lot. I mean, it is cool looking pop. They've done with the Alien movie. I don't know why there's so many Alien pops and then we're missing some other really good ones that they should have done. But anyway, this is Axe, the, the Xenomorph um, from the Aliens movie. Uh, for my X, Y, I had this last time I had to do, I had to spell out my name, I think, and I had this last time and I forgot that I had it. So why I picked Yoda. Yoda is one of my favorite characters. Thank you, Must. Um, the way he talks, the, the, the small is mighty, uh, don't judge a book by its cover and don't judge anybody by the size. Uh, it's one side that counts, and that's why I love Yoda. I love this box because it's all green. Um, I thought they did a good job with that, Star Wars, the Star Wars box uh, Funko did. Uh, this is just a shared sticker. I didn't get him on the drop. I couldn't. <clears throat> but I picked him up at Target, uh, and I love I love this one. Uh, Yoda is such a cool character. And then Z. Yes, I have a Z. Um, I should show you both. Um, the other, I have both of them. I have the common and, and the chase. And so I picked the chase because I only had one other chase in this whole group. So I picked the chase Zartan from the GI Joe line. Again, this is another line that I've been, um, trying to complete. Uh, the new ones just came out and stuff like that. And I'm not so much going back to the OG. I do have a couple of the OG ones. Um, I think I have a snake eyes, storm shadow. I have storm shadow from OG line. Um, but this one, is super cool. And I showed him off before and Tracy over at Ray Pops, she uh, a -OK would me the common. So I have both Zartans. <clears throat> Zartan was my favorite character to play with when I was a kid because the actual little like three inch uh, action figure, he would change color in the sun. And I always thought that was so cool. I mean, hyper color shirts, all that kind of stuff, if it changed color. Um, so Zartan was my favorite GI Joe character um, from the cartoons in the eighties. So I picked him for that. Um, so that is my A through Z, my choices of doing the alphabet challenge. Um, I may have not have picked things that you guys thought I was going to pick. No Marty, no Ralphie. Um, but I pick things that have some, some meaning to me and that came from some great people. Uh, and I don't regret any of these choices. But happy anniversary, Welsh. Uh, I have to challenge 10 channels. And I'm trying to think of who. I'm going to challenge. I am going to challenge Stop and JLH. I don't think they will do it, but I'm going to challenge them anyway. I'm going to challenge Mama J. I'm going to challenge Caitlin. I don't think she'll do it either, but I'm still going to challenge her anyway. Teresa Newell, because I really want to see what's more in your collection. I know you're getting rid of a bunch or you were kind of going through them, but I want to see what's in that collection of yours. I really do. Uh, I'm going to, you're unpacking them now anyway, so I think this would be a good time that you guys could probably get this done. I'm going to challenge Slap Shot Pops. That's number five. Uh, I am going to challenge Funko Pops and Unicorns, uh, because, well, you challenged me the last time, so paybacks. I am going to challenge Ray Pops, because I haven't seen a whole, I've seen you open a lot of stuff, but I haven't seen a whole lot of your collection, so I want to see what you have, have going there. Oh, uh, did I already say Mama J? I don't know if I said Mama J. If not, I'm putting Mama J in there. Uh, Mama J has meant the world to me. We've done a lot of collaborations together recently. Uh, having a great time. I also don't think that these guys will do it. But, um, again, this is this is a, a, a couple who have uh, become good friends. Love them to death. You will see me Tuesday night with this man on Mama J's channel taking on Funko Pops and Unicorns, who is holding a pop hostage. We'll see what happens Tuesday night. I don't give up so easily. Uh, but I am going to uh, send it out to Homespun, uh, Homespun Geek and Homespun Queen, Tylock and Cherie. Love to see if you guys could fulfill this. I know that you probably can. You have like 9 million pops. So I'm sure that you can get this. That's number 9. And number 10, um, let's see here. Who should we do? A Landmark. 
my Canadian friend. We're going to be doing a cereal exchange, Canadian cereal for American cereal soon. Can you do the alphabet challenge? Can you? Let's see. Let's throw it up the Canadian way and see if he can do that. It's a landmark. Um, I will put all of these channels uh, down below. I'll probably have to go back and watch this to remember who I said, but I will put all the chain links to those channels down below so that if they end up doing it, that they can, uh, you guys can see those as well. Uh, much love to everybody who I shouted out here and who sent something to me or that I have, um, from you. This is why, I mean, it's amazing that I have 700 of these and I can actually remember where I got most of, most of them from most of them from my mom, actually like a lot of them from my mom that are back here. My mom is, heavily into helping my Funko addiction. Um, but, uh, Welsh, congratulations on a year. I hope Geek Meets Eats meets that, uh, year as well. Uh, you know, I do Geek Meets Eats as a passion project. It's not about, you know, fame and fortune views, subs. It's not about that. I just have a good time. Everybody that shows up at the lives on Tuesday night, I hope you guys are having fun. I'm having fun with you. Uh, I look forward to Tuesday nights now. Um, not that I didn't when I was doing CTV, but this is something on a whole different level. Like this is something that comes from the heart and hopefully you guys are seeing that. So you guys enjoy your Sunday. I got to go do my hair. I got to get myself changed. I got to go pick up Lisa. We got to go to a grad party. I got to go pick up cheeseburgers. I got to get on sassies and then I got to be on dead zones later. So I got a busy day today. You guys love you guys. Have a great one.